Welcome back to West Texas View. One of the things that uh, we've been talking with Susie about is some of the different kinds of, of grief, uh, of, of uh, counseling they do, and she talked about grief and uh, depression. And one of the things that I read just a few days ago was an article about how young children are, can be depressed. Yes. And even very, very young children can commit suicide because of this depression. And so the sooner that a doctor or a minister or somebody notices it, a parent notices it, and can get help for that, the, the better it is. And, uh, and that brings up the point is, how do you get patients? Are they referred only through the medical community? Or do you get them other ways? Or can they self well, we have the definitely you can self-refer if parents, if you, you find some things that are troubling that your child is suddenly isolating or they're more angry or they're uh, just very uh, withdrawn um, or just acting different with their siblings, definitely you can call us and ask, what can I do? Are these things that I need to be concerned about? Mm -hmm. the, the counselors in schools will also do referrals. Yes, like we have referrals from churches and whatnot. Sometimes people from the YMCA can, re can refer, anyone can refer. Who works with children with works or with works children, with adults. Or daycare centers, anyone uh -huh. that works with children that they mm -hmm. see that there's a change. They see them every day and they suddenly see a big change in them. Uh -huh. They definitely need to call mm -hmm. and, and just ask, what can we do for this child? And mm -hmm. let the parents know and discuss that with them. We do have, um, that I was actually just at a forum for suicide prevention, and so one of the biggest things is being able to have the community work together to be able to catch the children that are maybe falling in between the uh -huh. cracks that are not receiving the help. We do have a uh, client assistance fund, and so there's there's various forms not to the families not to be afraid to ask for help because they may not be able to afford it. They they need uh -huh. to call, and and, and, and that help. brings up a point. Uh, insurance pays some of the Correct. the cost of of. Uh, of uh, counseling. Yes. Uh, sometimes employees have employee employers have employee programs yes. for mental health, and then also there's a sliding scale, so yes. it's based on family yes. income. Yes, so they do have options. They do have options, and I'm glad you brought up the employee assistance program because that is one of the, the bigger programs that we do have uh -huh. um, with various um, companies that do offer that mm -hmm. for their employees if they're struggling with work, if they're mm -hmm. struggling with um, health and work and home and mm -hmm. just different areas of their life that mm -hmm. they're struggling with, they will call and, and they will set up those sessions for the, for the people to come in. And just in my lifetime, it's become known that mental health is just as debilitating as, as physical health. Yes, it is. And uh, so you must you must take care of any aspect that you have, and, and right. insurance companies are beginning to understand that. Because yes. if you uh, have some issue like depression or grief or anger management or something, it will affect your physical health. Sure, and and there's other things too. If you have, uh, if your marriage is struggling, if you have, uh -huh. if you're thinking about getting married, that's also can be stressful, and that's one of the things that we do address because we do have a, a licensed marriage and family therapist that he does premarital counseling, and and sometimes people don't think that that's an important thing to do, but if you do it in the pastoral setting, you can do it in a counseling setting as well, uh -huh. and that's what I like about working with the community here in in West Texas is that the the churches are very open to saying this is beyond what we can do yeah. we need to send them somewhere yeah. else and likewise when we say this is beyond what we can do we need to send them someone yeah. somewhere else if they have problems with drugs or alcohol and that's affecting mm -hmm. the marriages or the the relationships then we can do what we can in-house and then we refer to other people that can help that are with more their, focused, more in focused that on that, that uh -huh. particular area but we don't turn people away because they have those issues uh -huh. we want to be able to help in uh, as much as we can in all aspects of yeah. their lives so we do have the the employee assistance program we also do, as part of the service, is what we call a critical incident service. If, if something major happens in the community, um, you know, there's the, the stories of the children that, you know, they go into the schools and mm -hmm. something bad happens there. So we do have the counselors that can go into the settings uh -huh. to be able to help with the process uh -huh. of having someone go through a traumatic experience. Yeah. Um, or even workplaces when, when something really tragic has happened. Yes to an employee or to a group of employees, then your workplace is just as uh, 
uh, vulnerable yes and we do anybody. have that uh -huh. we do offer that service and another service of course the b bigger program as far as what we specialize in, in in specific target groups that we're working with right now is our military families oh whether they are active duty or retired or um, uh, veterans of, of wars we do help them we have a specific program that's just for them and their families because it affects the entire system uh -huh. and so we want to be able to help all of them uh -huh. and we have um, as far as funding is concerned they don't need to be concerned about that we will work with them with that mm -hmm. we have a, a specific program that was designed to help uh, bring the population to help them with the PSD to help them with recovery to help them transition from being in the military to no longer now working in a civilian mm -hmm. population and so a lot of that um, is is what we work with the, the veterans to be or active duty military to help them also with uh, just recently I attended a seminar for moral injury which is is different from post-traumatic stress that, uh, that most people are associate our veterans or military families with because that applies to our people who are working in emergency response teams like the fire department the police department they witness a lot of things that are very very traumatic yes. and the, the the moral aspect of where they cannot heal is what we like to address and where they can uh -huh. be comfortable or heal in the, the things that they have had to do or uh -huh. the things that they have had to witness. They have to yeah. make choices that most you and I would not be able to do. Uh -huh. And so I think that that's an important aspect for them to understand that, that we offer that type of counseling that's different from just saying you have a diagnosis and we, you need to go to the hospital because uh -huh. you need medications. We need to be able to talk to them about what their uh -huh. needs are. I had a, 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 a heard a conversation on television with a Boston policeman who was saying that very thing that that he'd always been taught to be tough and handle anything and and just to have someone say it's it's normal for you to feel so so much vulnerability from mm -hmm. all of this gruesomeness and and graphic things that you have suffered and mm -hmm. seen over these last few months that he was dealing with some really Sure. Heavy well, because we, we, we see them as heroes, but they don't see themselves that way yeah. because they've had to make some horrible choices uh -huh. and, and it's, it's in for a good cause, but the moral aspect of their injury is where they, they're lost and they're uh -huh. confused. And so it, it's a different type of, of direction for the counseling and I it's think just, it's important. It's just like area. if you have something sore on your hand, you don't know what to do to get it well, but you just know it needs it's to be there. well. And yes. The same way with the mental health. We're going to have to take a break. We'll be back in just a minute and, and conclude this conversation. See you in just a minute. Good. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back.